green. Health, spirituality, and life. The God color. And hell, the trees. And hell, these trees. This shade is spiritual. It keeps me calm while relaxing people around me from being violent. Because I'm a man of peace. So you can relax. There's no need to be afraid. I was born in Martin Luther King, but raised in El Haj Malik Shabazz philosophies, loving all of my people. And that's why I write to keep from knocking someone's head off, frustrated from all these colors in my blood. Black, African American, Cherokee Indian. Poetry is a universal religion. I was raised this way to understand what my colors represent. But some are born followers going with what they see the masses doing. So if one million people said, the color is now green, would you only embrace that shade? I hope not. There are a few shades that I will attach to my life so I will remain green. The truth is often around you, but seldomly respected. God sends signs to those who reflect. So I respect this earth by emulating the pace of a turtle walking for hundreds of years of oppression and disrespect by people unaware that eventually this turtle will cross that finish line. The same time it took for me to ascribe these words at this turtle pace and the end will beat everything fluffy pink rabbit rappers could throw together in a hot minute. I used to ask a poet I knew, yo, how long till it's done? He got up and walked away. I tried for years to find the answer. Finally, he replied, keep writing for another seven days and edit it three times before you come my way. Or even speak to me, young poet. What you want? A quick fix, crowd pleasing, finger snapping snack to give to this audience of trees like salad for dinner. Forgetting the dressing and croutons. It's the industry that's ruining artists' mind frames. Forgetting that art like this on a perfect rainy day like this has no time frame. Stop trying to fly to the clouds. Go beyond the sun, moon, and stars. This blue and yellow masterpiece is art. Catching up to the lives of others is not the goal. Making each ballad a masterpiece is. Follow the signs. And as soon as you think you got it all figured out and can draw a map to success, is when you should pull over and ask for directions. Don't follow the same course others take. Set your own path. And I know there's a strong chance that you'll get lost. There's a strong chance you'll get lost. But finding your way home is the only thing you ever had to worry about. Set your compass to the east and plot your course. And do not conform. And I will not conform to society's ideas of success by sticking up a middle finger and talking about getting the green. There's enough simple-minded brothers already doing that. We don't need any more people talking about what they would do to get the green or how much they hate the hood and want picket white fences, white fences blocking people from getting in and the green grass to fake you out and make you think they're spiritually connected when in actuality, they just want to show off. I ask myself sometimes, what's wrong with these poets? Brainwashed, beaten, and bamboozled, playing the game of life. What happened to honesty and core family values in Philadelphia, Germantown's unhappy hollow when it didn't have thousands of Heineken bottles smothering its blacktop? I bet on a basketball game and lost, paying the debt late coming a few shades short of what they were looking for and I never knew that a person's life can be put at stake for a mere measly three dollars cream